Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be running some diagnostics on the S80. Now, it's just hit 125,000 miles, so I thought it'd be a good milestone to uh, run some diagnostics and see what we get. Touch wood, um, everything seems to be going well with the car. Uh, I was due to have a video out earlier this week, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Um, I've recently changed the front discs and pads on the S80 and managed to delete all of the footage uh, yesterday. So that was infuriating. Um, so we're going to make this video today for you guys. It's something I've been meaning to do anyway. Um, and now, now seems like a good time so I can get a video out to you guys. So um, we'll just run you through the kit first. So I don't use Vida. Um, I think it's quite a bulky solution. I haven't bought one. Um, just drop the OBD reader. I know it's going to be better than this, um, but for what I need, and I've done a few tests comparing video and this particular bit of software, this seems absolutely fine. All you need is an OBD2 reader uh, for your Bluetooth. Uh, this is a VPeak OBD check at BLE, but there's, there's plenty, plenty of other ones. And then you just need your phone um, and an app called Garage Pro. Now if I get Garage Pro up you can see here it's fairly simple and what I'll do is I'm going to overlay now um, the screen recording to show you this app. Um, it's a very very good app. You can pay a one-off fee uh, rather than calling other mobile phone diagnostics apps and you'll be able to read your car no matter what it does all sorts of sort of de dealer level stuff um it gets really deep into the modules and does find codes that other code reading software doesn't uh, which is quite nice so um all you do is plug in the obd2 port um which is just underneath your electronic handbrake control uh, and i've got the blue light on the reader to say that we have done it Okay, so you guys should now be able to see on screen what we're doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit read codes. I've got the ignition on, have I? No, I haven't. There we go. We've got the ignition on. Um, it's detected that it is a Volvo and it's asking us to turn the engine on. So we're going to turn the engine on um, like so. Now we're going to proceed. Now what they're doing is they're saving the vehicle. Um, and you'll see here we've got a couple of options. Where we've got scan all modules. We can actually scan individual modules, which is quite handy. So if you know you've got an issue with your transmission, for example, you can specifically choose transmission. I'm going to go scan all modules um, because what we want to do is get a good idea of the overall health of the car. Now, last time I did this at about 100,000 miles, we had a issue with the injectors uh, that seems to have cleared up I haven't noticed any drop in performance etc so um, that'd be interesting so basic scan we've got zero faults which is quite cool um, it's handy to know <laughs> but uh, yeah so we'll let this run through now um, and I'll join you guys in a minute okay so the faults are just finishing up now or the scans just finishing up and I just wanted to talk about um, the amount of modules now a few of you guys might notice that there's quite a few modules here that may not apply to your car um, that's fine uh, the scan just skips straight through those uh, detects that they're not there and skips straight through them what garage pro does it downloads all the modules for the latest volvos um, and historic mod uh, historic modules as well for older volvos and it will scan through them um, any that it detects aren't there it just skips straight away so it's not it's not an issue uh, it's not trying to scan things that aren't there if that makes sense so we are 87 percent done and we've only got one fault um in the engine of course uh, they always are compared to my old BMW which used to regularly uh, throw up 15 20 faults um, at well no, I had less mileage as well so that that's yeah proves how much better Volvo's are um, if I don't say so myself so we've got one fault at the moment with 97% to go um, on the engine and it detects a performance fault with the intake air temperature now that could be anything um, what I'll do is I'll clear it and then in a few weeks time after a bit of driving we'll scan again to see if it's come up but to be honest 
I'm pretty happy with the fact that it's only got one fault. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So let's hit clear fault codes. We'll tip, turn the engine off. Turn the ignition on, like so, there we go. Um, and that should now clear the faults. Um, I'm just going pretty quickly as well. So we've only got one fault to clear, so in theory it should be quite quick. Um, we've got, yeah, all those modules, but it doesn't have to scan through those if that makes sense, because there's only one fault, uh, which isn't bad for 125,000 miles, I don't think. This thing just continues to surprise me. Um, I don't know why it's a surprise, because these things are built like tanks, but I've just never had a car that is this sort of solid, um, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I was a bit annoyed about the fact that I'd actually deleted all that footage because it was quite a, a fun job to do, if that makes sense. Um, went for a full new set of front discs and pads, um, and they are brilliant. The car is so much better. We've got far more responsive brakes as well. Uh, the interesting thing is they wore far more on the inside than they did on the outside. So if you guys are checking your brake pads, I'm going to talk about this in a separate video, but just bear that in mind. Um, make sure you feel the back of your disc. Uh, you can't actually ever access the pad, so it's quite difficult without taking the disc off. But yeah, bear that in mind. So we've got Brembo's on the front, uh, Brembo's on the back. So we've got four Brembo's all over the place. Um, and like I said, they've performed brilliant so far. They're, they're definitely within their, their bedding in process now. Um, I think I've done 3,000 miles since putting them on. Um, uh, in less than a week or so. So it's been it's been a busy week. Um, so the car is yeah back in its happy place and it's a lovely to drive lovely to drive again before you're getting the horrible grinding noise etc um and it just wasn't that fun to drive but now it is a far nicer experience which is good so um just waiting for this thing to finish off it likes to go through and clear all of them for some reason although there's nothing to clear you can hit stop clearance codes so i might do that now actually we'll hit clock stop clearing codes hit confirm and what the best thing about garage pro is it actually sends you a printout uh, via a pdf straight to your email of all the codes explanations uh, for what they are reasons they could be happening and possible fixes as well now you have to take them with a pinch of salt because they are globally recognized codes generic codes that come up in different cars um but it is really good. And Volvo are genuinely very good at following the national, the international sort of recognised um, code system. So uh, yeah, we're just going to wait till that finishes, start the car up, and uh, get it going. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to say that Vida is better, and it probably is. But for me, um, I found this a pretty good uh, thing. Now, just apologies for the camera angle changing. I most. Make the GoPro fall off the windscreen. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one.